Hi guys, um, I wanted to talk to you about puppies and the first 16 weeks of their life. One of the biggest problems I see out there or puppies coming in or dogs coming in to me is the lack of early uh, socialization and what I call world experience. The first 150 days of a puppy's life can almost form the blueprint for how well social and how well robust and balanced your dog is going to be. It's that important. Now this could be a little bit controversial with what I'm going to say, especially with what some of the advice is from vets. But my recommendation is always, as soon as you get your puppy at eight weeks, there's four really important things you need to follow through with. And one is experiencing the world in the way of the sights, the sounds and smells of the world. And the fourth S is socialization. A lot of people tend to keep their puppies in for the first 14 to sometimes 16 weeks until puppy gets their last vaccination. In my experience globally, what I've found, and even just in Australia, everywhere, there are so many more dogs, and I'm talking millions and millions of dogs euthanize from behavioral problems, from lack of socialization and early exposure to what there is of parvovirus. Now from day one at eight weeks, um, as soon as my dogs arrived, I had them out. Now, of course you do it in a safe way. Um, I never took my puppies into dog parks or onto dog beaches, that sort of thing. But what I did do is I took them out to experience the world. And that meant I'd take them for a walk down the street. I'd keep them on the footpath. Um, I'd take them to the petrol station. I'd take them on busy streets. I'd take them to Woolies and stand out the front, but I'd always be there with them to make sure if another dog came up with a person, I could ask them, was their dog vaccinated? Did their dog look very nice and calm? And then I would let them meet. It's so, so important to get that robust, secure puppy. What I see coming in is even after two weeks, so the puppy could be just 10 weeks of age, after two weeks of being isolated and at, a, at home, the puppy starts to lose their confidence and they start to become quite insecure. While the puppy may look perfect at home and bouncing around and probably being naughty and stuff like that, the puppy is missing out on how to cope with the sights, the sounds and the smells of the world. So my recommendation in every puppy consultation I do is to get your puppy out from day one in a safe way. It could be almost one of the best things you could ever do for your dog. And even as adult dogs we see coming in for social days, just walking as a pack, there could be a loud noise or a truck goes past. And a lot of the dogs actually jump, they, they'll jump, they're quite skittish. So they start to lose their, they've lost their confidence with gaining that first 150 days of that blueprint that they've almost lost. So it takes a lot to gain that back. And I know everyone sort of panics and they get really worried about not taking their puppy out, not even putting their puppy on the ground, not even on the footpath, um, because they're really concerned about this. In my experience, what I can tell you is that the chances of that puppy getting parvo or a really terrible disease in my experience is very, very, very slim as opposed to having that wonderful full life with your dog that everyone dreams of when they get a puppy. So if someone comes and says to me, Jo, I've got five minutes, what's the best advice you can give me for my puppy? I would say the four S's, get them out from day one, experiencing the sights, the sounds, the smells of the world, and socialization from day one with good dogs too. Uh, so that's all I just wanted to talk about. And um, I'm hoping that that message does get out. I know that there's so many people with puppies and so many people keeping their puppies in at the moment. I'm really concerned about the wave effect that's going to happen after all these puppies start to reach adolescence and adulthood with some of the behavioral problems we're gonna be experiencing. Anyway, here's my little girl here, all robust <laughs> and confident. You big sook, if you can see her. Here she is, say hello Mocha. 
not a worry in the world. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. I hope that was really helpful.